for fourth down. Yes. I referenced the fact that you were in the Garden State recently That's at right. a camp, mm -hmm. had a chance to see some prospects. Penn State is always recruiting. Um, we always talk about uh, Andre White, the kid that's at, at Harrisburg, but this is, this is more about some other players that might be Penn State targets. What can you tell the fans about the son of a Pittsburgh Steelers great, a linebacker, Joey Porter? This is yes. Joey Porter Jr. Right. Where does Penn, Penn State stand with him, and how is he kind of figuring in their plans? Yeah, so the Lions have been uh, short, I guess you could say, in offering Pennsylvania class of 2019 recruits at this point. The one they have an offer out to, Keaton Ellis from State College, the corner is committed. The other you just mentioned, Harrisburg linebacker Andre White. Mm -hmm. Penn State, USC all in the mix there. Ohio State visit coming up for him for that spring game, and they could offer. So uh, things might get a little more crowded for him, but then Joey Porter Jr., an athlete kind of guy, a corner that comes to campus and picks up an offer over the weekend, sees spring practice. A lot of schools like him. I think Penn State wanted to check out his size, and once he got to campus and they saw him, and we see this a lot where guys get to campus, Bob, and everything checks out, all the boxes check, and they're offered. So that was the case here. I would suspect Penn State sets in pretty good shape at this point, but there's a long way to go there. Porter is from Western PA High School? Yes, uh, North Allegheny. Yep. Okay, and one other one other guy just to touch base with, uh, Caden Wallace. I yes. want to make sure I say his name correctly. Yep. Uh, how does he kind of maybe factor in maybe Penn State's thinking moving forward? Yeah, the guard from New Jersey was by far one of the best offensive linemen and really one of the best offensive guys, period, at the camp in New Jersey over the weekend. Bobby hasn't visited anywhere as much as he visited Penn State. He'll be back for the spring game. He was on campus just a few weeks ago. He's going to see a lot of schools. There's no question about that, but he's also going to be able to say at the end of this thing that uh, you know I've seen Penn State as much as I've seen anybody else are they going to be my leader that's the question he's going to have to figure out I think at this point Penn State is his leader I would be shocked if they didn't land this kid they've just mm -hmm. put too much early work in to not get the results uh, of a commitment at some point in time not that it'll be soon but I would be surprised if he doesn't sign with Penn State down the road. So you're looking at a guard there. Some, one other thing from that camp I'd point out, Bob, is that Taquan Roberson, the quarterback commit, uh, mm -hmm. and from New Jersey as well, three-star kid, throws a nice ball, and he looks uh, a little bit like Trace McSorley. Uh, you know, he's six foot, 185, probably mm -hmm. will end up being, you know, without cleats on, five, ten and a half, and he has the chance to get up to 190, 195. Mm -hmm. It's a guy that could just slide right in at some point. Obviously, Penn State has built QB depth now, but... I think he's a guy that a few years down the road you could see him in Ricky Ronnie's offense in a way that really projects what Trace was able to do so far and can do in 2018. Okay, we're getting close to the end here on the Penn State Blitz. Just